Hello YouTube, it's Crypto Rocco here and today we've got another great video for you. So in today's video we'll talk about how to survive when the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market is crashing. There's been a lot of news coming out, a lot of FUD that's been coming out about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and that's uh, affecting the price. There's been news coming from China, um, South Korea banning, the BitConnect crash in the past few weeks, the, the Tether and Bitfinex issue that's been coming out, and the ICO scams, the exchange hackings, there was a £500 million pound worth of um, hacking from CoinCheck, I believe, Facebook banning Bit Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and blockchain related ads, um, and there's just lots of news coming out and basically stopping money from coming into the market and which is affecting the price. So today I'll talk about two strat two of my favorite strategies. First one is hodl or hold. Hodl, hodl, hodl. Guys, this is a very simple advice. It's a no-brainer. But this is the best strategy for 99.9% .9 people out there because you, we don't know. We, you guys are not as closely related to the market. You, you haven't got day trading or trading experience. You're not part of the community. Do not try to trade and do not try to sell and buy at a cheaper price. So this is my number one advice. Just hold, guys. Just hodl. If you are an experienced trader, if you know what you're doing, then I'd suggest you try to trade but do not try to do it just hold it it's been it's been a 50 percent drop if you believe in blockchain technology just hold and it will go up if you do not believe in blockchain um, technology you shouldn't be invested in investing in bitcoin and gambling anyway but if you believe in Bit bitcoin and blockchain technology just hold and it will go up guys i'm a massive believer and i believe it will go up in past video i explained that so yes even if you're down if you don't sell, you don't lose any money. So don't sell. So if you've bought it at fifteen thousand and it's down at ten thousand now, and in a year's time it's it's about thirty, forty, whatever thousand, then if you sell it, then you haven't lost any money. So just hold, guys. And obviously you shouldn't have invested money you can't lose. So just hold, and I believe it will benefit you in the long run. So yeah, simple advice, guys. All you need to do. Hold. This brings me on to my second strategy, trading. I've marked it in red because it is a very dangerous strategy for 99% people out there. But I will quickly talk about what my strategy is. So as you can see, Bitcoin has dropped massively. So the strategy I'm talking about in simple terms is if you know, if you've, if you've got a feeling the market is going down because the news that are coming out because of technical analysis of just being part of the community, you could have sold at 12 grand and bought back at 10 grand and earned some more Bitcoin and vice versa. You could carry on doing it. There's a lot of traders who do that, who do do that. So what I've done is I've sold some at twelve grand, and I've took so I took some profit out around uh, fifteen thousand mark. Then I've sold more around twelve grand when it was crashing, and then I've bought some back at ten because I, I wasn't sure whether it, it would go below ten because ten is a massive number. People, it's like a mental figure in their head. People don't think Bitcoin will go below ten. But if it goes below ten, there's not much resistance level until probably about eight grand so i've put some sales order for uh sorry some buy orders for bitcoin around 850 and 8000 mark so that's my strategy at the moment i don't know how it will play out it might go up um and i'll, I'll buy more if it breaks that 12, 12 if it stays at that 12000 level and it goes up i'll buy back more but this is just a very simple strategy that i've been i've been doing um, again, I don't recommend it unless you know what you're doing. And I'm only doing it with, let's say, about 25% of my Bitcoin portfolio. The rest of them, I'm still holding. If you have got trading experience, then trade, but not with all of your money, only with a, some percentage of your money, because no one can predict the market. If you don't know, if you don't have trading experience, if you're not part of the community, if you if you're not an expert in in technical analysis, do not trade. Just hold, just hold, and it will benefit you in the long run. Thank you very much. Those are my top two strategies. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be bringing you many more videos like this. Thank you very much, and see you guys soon.